hey everyone welcome back to another video i hope you all are doing good like i was saying in my previous vlog we were going for a small road trip to attend a friend's family wedding happening at uti we have been to uti couple of times and every time we go we opt for the mysore bandipur route this is the most frequently opted and the quickest way to reach uti but this time just for a change we plan to go via the salem route and return via the mysore route also because we wanted to meet another friend of ours at e road so i will put up a separate video with the details of the other route while we return back from uti and in this video i'll take you via this salem route the salem route takes a little longer like 8 to 9 hours whereas the other two routes it takes almost uh, 7 hours but this route is also equally beautiful if you would have seen in my previous vlog i have mentioned about a road trip from bangalore to munnar where we were following the same route bangalore to hosur then krishnagiri dharmapuri salem avinashi till avinashi this route also had the same uh, route map after avinashi we went through tirupur and then metupalayam to kunnur to uti we started from bangalore at around 9 in the morning we thought of leaving early morning but somehow with the kids this time it got delayed and uh, if you leave early you can skip the rush otherwise the road conditions are very good like the hosur krishnagiri roads are very good and only thing is uh, you get stuck up with the traffic because we started little late we already had our breakfast and from bangalore to reach krishnagiri it took almost uh, two hours for us and uh, from krishnagiri it took for us to reach e road it took almost one four hours in between we stopped in uh, salem to have our lunch at around two o'clock and around uh, three to three thirty we reached e road like the other routes this route also offers many popular places along the way. You have Shulagiri, Krishnagiri Dam, then Hoganical Falls. In Dharmapuri, you have many beautiful temples. The architecture here is also very beautiful. Then you have Metur Dam. This is one of the largest dams in India. You have Dolphin Nose in Kunur. This offers very beautiful view of the entire Nilgiri Hills. So all these places comes along this route. At around 2 o'clock we stopped by this restaurant to have our lunch. Immediately after crossing the Salem town, my friend she had invited at her home for having lunch. But since it was already 2 and Aki was a bit hungry, so we thought okay we will stop for a while. Every time I cross this route I come across this beautiful college. It is uh, some Vinayaka dental college and the architecture is so beautiful. You also get a view of this beautiful Kaveri river. The river enters Tamil Nadu through the Dharmapuri district and from there it flows towards the town of Salem and enters the Metur Dam. Finally after having lunch and taking some rest we reached our first stop. Uh, which was to Priyanka's home and you would have seen them earlier in my previous vlogs so we were having rest for a while here and uh, Alaya was nicely enjoying and this is the view outside their house this layout is so beautifully maintained full of greenery around and the wind also blows so well though we were getting late to reach Uti but still we spent almost three hours here we were nice enjoying the view here and spending some time as we did not have the lunch here she also packed some food for us to have later so we slowly resumed our journey from e road we started at around 6 30 and in between we did not take a stop uh, from e road to uti it takes almost four hours and we stopped for a coffee break near tirupur so from Iro to Tirupur, it took almost one and a half hour and we reached uh, Tirupur at around 8 o'clock. The route is quite long, like compared to the Mysore route, this route takes 8 to 9 hours. For us, it took almost 11 to 12 hours. 
सो वी रीच ऊटी बाई अराउंड इलेवन ओ क्लॉक वी वेर गोइंग स्लो एंड ऑल्सो वी टुक इन बिटवीन अ लॉन्ग रेस्ट एट ई रोड ऑलमोस्ट वन फोर आवर्स रेस्ट वी टुक अदरवाइज रोड कंडीशन इज़ वेरी गुड इन बिटवीन यू गेट यू माइट गेट अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ ट्रैफिक अदर देन दैट एवरी थिंग इज वेरी नाइस We stopped by this restaurant at Tirupur for some time. We took a small coffee break and also we had to feed Alaya. Hopefully, this was the last stoppage of our destination. From Tirupur to Metupalam, it takes an hour. We reached Metupalam at around nine o'clock. Metupalam to Uti is almost fifty-one kilometers, and it shows almost two hours to cover this distance of fifty-one kilometers. You have all other options available from Metupalam to reach Uti. You have train, buses, taxi, and the nearest airport is the Coimbatore International Airport that is around thirty kilometers from Metupalam. so metupalam is like the uh, junction for everything from here the road gets narrower and little steepy curvy thanks to priyanka she packed some food for us we did not want to stop for dinner already we were very late so we just continued our journey we are passing by the streets of kunur and as i take this video it brings back a lot of nostalgic feeling of my college days my roommate ramya whenever she used to come home for some long breaks she used to bring me along with her and i will cover all this in my next video we were going to attend the wedding we were coming back from uti to kunur to attend the wedding the next day so i will cover all this in my next vlog she had arranged for our stay at this lawless institution uh, i'm not sure if it is open for the public i think it was only to opt by the club members but this uh, stay was very beautiful it was a nice spacious cozy uh, stay likewise you have lot of options like you have hotels resorts or home stays you can get a variety of options for stay here at uti that's all for today's vlog i'll see you very soon in our next vlog where i'll cover the other route the mysore expressway please subscribe my channel if you like my videos see you soon till then bye and take care